101001 and today I'm going to show you how to make an airplane in Blender 2.58.1 to do this first you'll have to press 1 to go to this view press tab to go into edit object mode press control R and this will let you choose which axis you to which axis to add your new vertice on because that's what control R does you want to choose the Z one, Z axis, and then just right click to center your new vertice. Press A to deselect it. Press B for box select. I almost forgot. Choose this so limit selection to visible. So you want to disable that. So now if you press B, you can choose all of those. So now you're left with half a cube after you've deleted that. So now three to go to the side view. Now go to this uh, picture of a wrench for modifiers. Add modifier, uh, mirror, and add clipping. If you don't, then this is going to be so much harder. Add clipping. If you don't add clipping, it just everything that goes wrong that uh, everything that doesn't work the way that I show you how it should it's because you don't add clipping or maybe it's because you didn't uh, un uh, because you didn't disable limit uh, selection to uh, uh, to visible uh, but clipping is much more important so S Y make it a little longer. You don't have to make everything exactly to ha exactly how long I make it because it, there are different kinds of planes that you can make or different or you can make it more or less realistic. So press B select here. Press E for extrude, which will let you expand this in a new set of vertices. Make it, make it kind of long, not not too long, not as long as your original square, or rectangle, your rectangular prism. So press S, make it smaller, and because of clipping, it's still touching this wall, even though it, it without clipping, then this would, then this side right here would also get closer to the center of the object. Three, make uh, put it up on the Z axis. E again. I forgot A. A to deselect everything. B. E. S. E. S. Put this in a little. Now choose the edge select mode here. Seven. Make it a little smaller. Three. Here. Seven. Uh, kind of small. And then last here. Yeah. That was a mistake. Now this needs to be smaller. Three again. Control R, use it across the Y axis, right click to center it, one, make this part a little bigger, then you go to vertex select mode, A to deselect, B, box select, choose these, S, Z, to let you make that bigger, and this is the shape we have now. You might not see it as an airplane yet. You might choose face select E. <coughs> Put this back a little. S. And just move it around until it looks good. And I'll leave it like that. 
which is this seven e I just press that so you can see what happens when you do this next step s x zero so that'll make this flat you probably want that you probably want to do that now out s z make it really small seven s y make that small move it back and here e move that in that in that in seven five I forgot to select the top part. I'll move it back. Three. Like that. Five. E. S X zero. S Z. Seven five. Move this back. S. Make it smaller. And then you have this. And it's not done yet. One. Move that up. Because I think it looks better that way. Add modifier subdivision surface, which will make it smoother. And if you press 7. Control R, and you can change the little problems that you might see. And then here on the wing, something that I like to do sometimes, I just think it looks good. So if you go to face select, press E Z. You have to, you have to press Z twice for some reason, or at least I do. You can move that back. And go to seven, control R right there, move that all the way there. And you can do that if you want to. And that's how to make a plane in Blender 2.58.1. And tomorrow I'm going to show you how to do a fluid effect in Blender 2.58.1.